Mr. B and I are back for shelter sketches. So today we're going to do a dog. His name is Jonas. And he's available for adoption with Paws Atlanta. He kind of reminds me of you a little bit, Mr. B, with the fur. So we're going to get started. Just follow along with me in the video. To draw Jonas, you're going to need a Sharpie or black marker or pencil if you want to start with that first. So we're going to start with the top of his head. So I'm going to start a little closer to the top of the paper. And it looks like I'm kind of making a wide frown. And we're going to move on to the ears. I'm going to start a little bit below this line and I'm going to curve it up and a diagonal line there. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So Jonas has real shaggy fur. So we're going to be using lines to show texture. Remember, that's how something feels. So for those shaggy ears, it looks like I'm going to kind of do some zigzags, but they're a little curved. And then from that, I'm going to make more of a rounded line. It's going to go up. It looks like it's almost going to touch that line, but not quite. And I'm going to do those kind of curved zigzags there. But on this ear, it looks like it's a little more pointed. I'm going to do another zigzag right there. But then I'm going to do that same thing and curve the line up where it's close, but not touching. So right around where the bottoms of the ears, that's where his nose is going to go. So I'm going to line up right about here. I'm going to do my frown. I'm going to connect it with that smile. So we have his nose and we're going to do his mouth. So up there. And in the picture he has his tongue out. So let's draw his tongue out. So I'm going to do a curved line around and up. I'm going to do one little line in there. We're going to work kind of on the markings on his face now. So right below this, I go up a little high. It looks kind of like I make a curve line here and I pick it back up over here and then I'm going to go up a little higher it's going to almost look like a J so I start a curve and it goes right up to about this line I'm going to do this one right over here so it's going this way up and then I stop so we're starting to see his face a little bit more so we need to add his eyes we're going to do those ovals where I fill mine in mostly but I leave some white space and with all that shaggy fur it almost kind of looks like he has some eyebrows. I'm going to add some zigzag lines up here do the same over here and it even looks like he kind of has some markings underneath his eye. It's kind of like when we did Blue Dog. We did those in kindergarten and I'm even going to add let's see a little bit more some zigzags here to show his fur all right, next we're going to start working on his body. So we'll do his neck a little bit first. So right about where this uh, ear, do those zigzags. We'll do the same thing over here. And now I'm going to, from that line, it curves in a little bit. And we do the same thing on this side. And I'm going to leave a little bit of space to show his front leg. So I'm going to do a curved there, go out, and then up. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. There. And up. So we have his front paws for now. And from those front paws, I'm going to extend this a little bit up higher here and here. And then remember, we have, he has that shaggy fur. So we already started that zigzag line. So I'm going to add a little bit more, kind of going in this direction to the middle. And I'm going to have some kind of coming down like this. So he has that shaggy fur right there. On the paws right about here. I'm just going to kind of extend this line in a little bit. And then his back legs, we already have this line. So all I'm going to add is a curved line here. And right over here, I'm going to add another one, his paw there. I'm going to do his little like zigzag for his fur. But since this is straight, we're not really showing the texture in his fur. So we want to add some more of those zigzag lines. So even on top, if you want, you can add some like this, where I'm just adding them on my lines. Do the same thing over here. 
And for his front legs, I'm going to kind of add a little bit there. And I'm going to do a little bit for these ones. And I'm going to add a curved line because he's kind of sitting. So it looks like his, you don't see his back legs as much. I'll do the same thing over there. When we have that done, to see his neck a little bit more, because right now this looks pretty empty. So I'm going to go up a little higher. I'm going to do that same zigzag and kind of repeat it, like that one that we did down there. With the paws, I'm just going to add some curved lines. And now we could add some detail, some more extra lines with our Sharpie for that shaggy fur. So I could maybe add, like I want to add, maybe I add a little bit here, some little lines up here. And on his ears, if this ear is going in this direction, I'm going to add some lines in this way. And this one will go in this direction. And on, on his head, let's add, I'm going to give him a little bit of extra fur up here. I'm going to have some curve that way, curve that way. We want to get his the little dots by his nose. I'm going to color his nose in with my Sharpie, or you could do it when we get to the coloring step. You could even add a little bit more if you want. So let's, I think, a little bit more here. And, oh, but he's missing his tail. He looks like he has a nice big tail. So I'm going to go looks right about here, and I'm going to kind of curve it up. Mine's going to go a little higher. I'm going to, from that point, curve it back down. So we have a tail, but remember we want to have that shaggy, that texture on the fur. Like that. So I'm going to kind of go on top and add some zigzags or even little, like, dashed lines. And I'll add some in there. So that way it looks like it matches the rest of his fur. We can even add some movement lines if you want to show that a tail's wagging. So it's close to the tail but not touching it. It's like I make a little curved line here. Maybe I'll make one over there. It can kind of help show movement. That is, he has a, he's real happy. His tail's wagging. So when you're happy with this step, we're going to move on to coloring. Remember, you can use your coloring materials of your choice. I'm going to fast forward through my coloring steps. I'll be using colored pencils but you can always look back at the photograph or at my finished one.